Nice, Q1. Way to cut ties with our business partners. <laughs> it's no big deal. Watch what you say. We didn't cut ties. It was an unexpected accident. Get your story straight. The entrance collapsed because a magic beast suddenly attacked us. If the boss woke up, the two people inside would be in danger, so we had no choice but to leave. Oh, jeez. Don't suck. This isn't our first rodeo, we know. Yeah, but I can't trust you knuckleheads to remember. Let's get out of the dungeon for now. Something I need to investigate. Enemies over there. Eat this. when I get serious. Let's blow this up with style. Enemies over there. Eat this! He does it. Enemies over there.
how many of them we kill, they just keep coming! You guys, wrap it up! Aren't you tired of this? Look, if you're tired of it, what's the alternative? Unless the surveillance team is a bunch of idiots, they'll definitely be suspicious. The same type of accident, happening with the same strike squad over and over? So what? All we have to do is close the gate. What can they do without any proof? Having proof or not isn't important. The problem is it puts heat on us. Once the guys from the surveillance team get suspicious, they'll be watching us. Then we just have to cover it up with a different accident. There aren't many accident-free raids in the first place. Stop it, you two. We just need a fresh cover story. I have a plan. Let's head out for now and talk about it. Dongsak, what's the play? It's nothing special, but just know that we may cut off ties with one person instead of two. If my assumption is correct, we'll be able to make a lot of money. He does it. Enemies over there. He does it. Huh. Enemies over there. I think we're almost there. Shine some light here. Gu Junte, what did you mean by that? I'm not trying to blame you. I'm just asking you to put yourself in my shoes. Do you remember the last time we cut ties? I had to off them myself. While I was being questioned by the surveillance team, Ku Wan and Dong Suk didn't testify to anything. So if something similar happens this time, I'm the one they're gonna get suspicious of. Hey, I didn't do it on purpose. Why are you getting angry? 
All I'm saying is it's not too late to grab both them and the reward and leave. Are you stupid? You think they'll say thank you for saving us and that'll be the end of it? We can't undo that. If we let them live, they'll be a thorn in our side. And what about me? You were just unlucky. I thought I told you guys to stop. Uh, don't suck. It wasn't me that started it. Shut up, Q1. Yes, sir. Gujun Tei. Yes? If you don't want us to cut you off next, I suggest you keep your mouth shut and follow my lead. If you want to keep both your job and your head, keep quiet. Yes, sir. Ha! Enemies over there. Huh? That's my cue. Ah! Eat this. We knew the way this time, so it didn't take us as long to get out as it did to get in. Let's take a quick break before heading back. Don't suck. Why do we have to make things so complicated? We would have woken up the spider if we'd fought them back there. How would we mine and transport the mana crystals then? The plan is to wait until the spider eats them and falls back asleep. Then we go mine the crystals. Though if that doesn't work, we'll have no choice but to kill them ourselves before taking out the boss. But at least we'll get that you kid stuff. Let's figure out which wealthy family he's from. We should at least give him a funeral for the trouble.